Reality star and Yeezy model Shanae Clement is out on bail and trying to jet set as usual, but the judge is not having it because when she was arrested, her passport was seized. Well, now she's out and she's saying that she made plans pre-arrest to travel to Atlanta and her passport is her only valid form of identification. Well, I guess all plans she made will probably have to be put on pause because remember she was arrested because she was supposedly on a prostitution date and took a dead man's credit card and actually spent about $20,000 of his money and that is uh, very very sketchy if you ask me so I'm guessing Sinead won't be going anywhere until her name is cleared. Floyd Mayweather is the highest earning celebrity in the world as released by Forbes. Now remember in 2017 last year he did not make the cut but what a difference one year can make as his fight with Conor McGregor generated a whopping 550 million dollars and that propelled him back to number one spot. Now talking about other celebrities in the top 10 we have of course the usual suspects we have Dwayne Johnson aka The Rock who makes a ton of money from his blockbuster movies. I heard that, oh, I read somewhere that he actually made 40 million off Jumanji alone. And let's not forget he has a skyscraper who just came out and some other blockbusters in the works. Also Steph Curry, LeBron James, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Kevin Hart. Like I said, the usual suspects made the top 10 of the Forbes highest ending celebrities. And combined the top 100 highest ending celebrities actually made a whopping 6.3 billion dollars pre-tax now those numbers are um very scary but something is sure in life a lot of people are making a lot of money and uh, we just have to tap in one way or the other actress denai guerrera who of course shot to superstardom after playing okoye in the black panther is the new ambassador for sportswear giant reebok now she took to uh, social media to share with her followers the good news and Reebok the sportswear giant also went on social media to praise her labeling her an actor a writer and an activist for women now this comes at a very busy time for Denai who is in talks for a new movie called Godzilla vs Kong which I cannot wait to see because I think Denai is a very very good actress and I look forward to more works coming out from her <laughs> Welcome back to the show guys. A lot of people are making power moves and premium UK brand Ted Baker is no different because they have just signed a five-year licensing deal with Israel's Delta Galil which will allow them produce and manufacture pieces for men. Now I think this is a very nice combination between Delta Galil and Ted Baker and they're going to be launching for the spring summer of 2019. The 2018 Beauty Con Festival kicked off in LA and as usual they had many celebrities in attendance and one of the celebrities spotted there was Kim Kardashian and the mother of three looked flawless. Now she was a keynote speaker at one of the panels and she strutted her stuff in a vintage Dolce & Gabbana outfit. Liberian travel blogger Salema was spotted out and about in Washington DC looking all shades of earthy and glam. Now she rocked a two-piece green and white palazzo and kimono and accessorized with a pearl bag. Also she wore bold accessories and stilettos and she topped it off with her natural hair and a bold matte red lipstick. 